Good evening and welcome to ATV News. I'm Shalomar Lawson with your daily update. Coming up on today's program, a lobby group takes to the streets in its battle against corruption. The uptake of female condoms in Gokwe is still worryingly low. A jazz artist from Zimbabwe is teaming up with a South African record company. And in sport, Bulawayo's King's Pool Club suffers a costly defeat. An anti-corruption lobby group has taken its fight to the streets to raise awareness of corruption and to look at ways of combating it. Muchaneta Chimuga was at the launch of a week-long campaign. <laughs> Sanga no Ragananga Nukuru is our worry, the Transparency International Zimbabwe, Lakapera Chirongwa Chishondo, Reseche Kutisava, Nunya, the Kuru is our worry. Nasi Tri, Panapa, Panapa Street, and George Lundi, Kamno Marari, Tripungoti, Corruption Yanyanya, Masekta, Sakawan, Sagatri, Gretchen Bowia, Paninga Panavanga, my office, if I want us, Oshka, where the office is to the Mumabasa, Kutuan. Mutonuriano no Shantama dance group uh, who are people who help us to educate the communities, knowing that Maswano Kunema arts that are being used to to, to relay my messages to the communities. We are using uh, explosion dance group which two visa. It start not my flash mobs, never dances, actually actually depict what corruption is all about and how people can fight corruption. Very very deep, very good. I will turn it and I will turn up our coach counter and agents recommend offices. We work Monday to Friday, it's from eight, from 7:30 to 5 p.m. to get to the to Rama cases. to get around and go down. Vagasunungu cut in my Facebook pages. No one got put by Twitter. Saka Nagasunungu cut, no phone number, my toll free number, and she got back here. Anotara nishi njimbo zirikunyanyo itikira nyaya ze uori ni matando hawa nufanu la kutora mkeza kudereza nyaya izi. Dini mtaruwe na uwe ATV ndiri muarare Zimbabwe. The uptake of female condoms remains low in rural Gokwe compared to the male version. Some feel that this is an indicator of the struggles many women go through when trying to negotiate safe sex. Robert Tefumane has more. The introduction of female condoms in rural Gokwe is being met with mixed feelings with some accepting them while others are still against it. ATV visited Gokwe South about 350 kilometers from Harare and some women shared their experiences on how their husbands reacted to the use of the female condom. Ini baraka ziskwani shiku kondo miroro baba wako wangu waka gamchira shakanaka. Shukuti chakari shanti saati kaveti suwano yuku tangi sisa kushani sa kondo miroro. Ini vaitu wati vaitu wati kondo miroro raka naka shukuru. A commercial sex worker said for her it was not a challenge as she needed to protect herself from sexual diseases. Grace Gumbo said she faced a lot of difficulties before her husband accepted it. But one major issue was the availability of the female condom compared to that for men. Condom is my risk for you to one. No one is upon a up. I see she can't do it. Condom we need to know to read the one. We are not going to read the room. So we are going to read the one. We are going to read the room. 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 According to Women and AIDS Support Network, the uptake of the female condom remains low compared to male condoms as women fail to negotiate for safe sex, particularly in rural areas. Married women are often afraid to ask their husbands to use a condom or to use one themselves since this implies that they suspect their husbands of infidelity. 
reporting for ATV in Gokwe, Zimbabwe. A Zimbabwean jazz artist has secured a deal that will help him to produce music with a South African-based record company. Jairo Saonyama reports. Jazz musician Q Montana has clinched a recording deal with South African record label Cool Sporting, a deal that has seen the musician relocating to South Africa. The instrumentalist who has four albums to his name and who returned to the country recently told ATV how he clinched the deal. After launching my fourth album called uh, Strings Attached, I went to South Africa with it and uh, I approached um, quite a number of labels, uh, reputable labels, and um, finally I got signed with uh, Comba Music, um, works together with Cool Sport. Um, I, they are the ones with my licensing deal. As part of the deal, Montana was also given a new house in a BMW vehicle. Um, I had to settle in. So there are so many factors that they had to consider for me to, to settle in well in a new environment. So uh, they had to give me um, a new house, um, a, a car, they had to give me uh, band equipment, um, proper band equipment, just so that we have a starting platform that we use. The musician moved to South Africa with all his band members. I thought it was only fair for me to move with them to South Africa as well, so that I don't have to reinvent the wheel, I just uh, continue with what we had done. And besides, um, I need to present the music in the, in the way that I had recorded it, um, so my band was the only way to go. The musician blasted local music industry for lagging behind in every aspect as compared to other countries. I think um, the South African music industry is a bit uh, more advanced or more ahead than uh, Zimbab the Zimbabwean uh, industry. Um, uh, I, I like the way they do their things in that uh, you have so many companies working together on one project. You, you don't have like one label that does everything from um, recording, producing, marketing and everything. So when you have division of labor every time you, you get uh, better quality uh, products or you, you get better quality service. Montana, who started music at the age of seven, has worked with great artists like the late Andy Brown. One of the people that I worked with uh, is Andy Brown. Uh, he's um, undoubtedly one of the music legends to ever come out of Zimbabwe. And, um, you know, he's the one who mentored me uh, musically and he taught me a lot of things. And when he passed on, I thought it was um, that would be the least that I would do to maybe do a song, in, um, a tribute song to him. So we, uh, I, I managed to get a hold of his wife, um, he, uh, who's, who's also uh, a singer, and, and we just collaborated and did a track together called Andi Chakusua. Reporting for ATV in Harare, Zimbabwe. Your stop pool club Kings lost to a spirited exchange club in the league. Exchange is keen to hold the dominance of Kings Club and Melody Mukuti saw their impressive performance for ATV. Pool game defending champions Kings Club suffered a 3 10 shock defeat at the hands of the second placed exchange club in a league match played recently in Bulawayo. Despite the loss, Kings are still the log leaders with 63 points. Kings player Johnson Maushe was disappointed about his team's performance. It's so embarrassing. I'm so disappointed. But anyway, we lost to the better team of the day. I think we lost the game on the doubles frames. That's where we lost our game because. We are beaten 5-0. Peter Zippo and Begezela Moyo of Exchange who won in the doubles were excited about their win. As Exchange, we, we were gunning for Kings and Kings were the team which was on top. So we played very well to, do, to put Kings. Because once we, beat, we knew to, once we, put, we beat Kings, we will be number one. Fans were also elated by their team's victory. Kudakwashe Manyanga, the member of Exchange Pool Club, was happy with the team's performance. As usual, Blauer, to go to games as usual, as normal games, no cheating or no what. But no longer tend a game on us. And it, Tarawan of Father Kings, longer I'm sorry, about four points, but now towards us. Fans erupted in song and dance after their team won the match against Kings. Reporting for ATV in Bulawayo, Zimbabwe. 
That's all for today. We would like to hear your views throughout the week and you can do this by commenting on the ATV Facebook page. Thank you for joining us. Good evening.